what's up guys welcome back to another no money spin video today we're gonna be taking a look at some of the packs we've earned i'm gonna kind of give you an update where i'm at in certain collections i'm gonna give you an update where i'm at in the featured program all that good stuff and show you what i would be grinding currently if you're just starting the program or if you're continuing to grind the program because there's still always ways to get more xp and i know that when i show you where i'm at there are gonna be some of you that are farther than me and that's totally fine you're awesome keep go keep keep chugging keep chugging along brother there's gonna be some of you that are like not where i'm at in terms of the feature program and xp and all that stuff or maybe you're not as close or maybe you're super far away and that's totally fine too i'm gonna show you what i would do if i was trying to jump up real quick in, in xp based off of not really playing a lot or whatever it's totally fine it's not a race okay so don't get discouraged if you're not where i'm at or others or if you're past me or whatever it doesn't matter okay as always if you like these videos you like packs you like nobody spent you like big fat thick juicy lads that's me then you should leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel if you are new i would greatly appreciate it so let's get into it in terms of other programs i actually ended up doing the i've caught up on june monthly and i've caught up uh i did the angels nike city connect that thing yeah so make sure you're doing that because if you come over here to the program feature program of course there are little collections here so if you've done the lou gehrig thing lock that in that's 10k xp and you're gonna get a couple packs along the way the colorado city connect that's 15k devers 10k nike uh la city connect yeah 15k right there too for that so make sure you're doing those and locking that in because that's what's that 10 plus 15 is 25 that's 50k xp right there and you get the xp while playing it of course so you might get a little bit more than that so you get all that but if you are like man i've really not done a ton of this like maybe you just i don't know maybe you were gone for like a week or something there's still 14 days and 23 hours which i feel like thinking back to the roy holiday wasn't that like 15 days long in total i think also luna's here the big dog Una, can you hello right here see look at her little face she's adorable love her in the comment section right now or i'll cry anyway i feel like roy halliday's program was about i don't know like 15 days long i think or around there so there's still a lot of time to be getting a lot of xp i think in this so if you're just starting or whatever if you haven't been grinding as much make sure you do daily moments i have not i'm actually not listening to my own advice but you should always be doing that because there's 3k xp right there if you haven't been doing those and one of these strike out a batter okay you know what i will do it i'll get in there and i'll strike out a batter i'll strike a, I'll, I'll shit that bitch down you know so i'll do it strike one batter out easy first try internet this is where this is happening trevor hoffman coming in here oh shit. okay all right all right okay all right okay c whiff foul ball okay and then right here the piece of resistance a fastball up and in easy i say done so give me another thousand xp anyway you should be doing your daily moments that's 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 what i'm trying to hit on do your daily moments they take five seconds so coming down here especially if you're trying like maybe if you're just starting or whatever maybe like or if you're maybe you're, you're behind you haven't done any of this do these moments uh, you get actually kind of quite a few stubs it felt like i mean listen we take anything free in the game you get stubs and you get a thousand xp each and there's 30 of these there's 30k right here and of course the gameplay stuff by playing and why did i back out of the program i'm dumb i'm stupid anyway the week one legend flashback stuff so by doing the program stuff you're gonna start getting xp and getting these packs right here with these flashbacks put those dudes in your lineup and then go play conquest that way you're knocking out these xp missions for these dudes and then of course you could be doing this stuff too the team two stuff I, i've been passively doing this i haven't done this intentionally at all nl west sure i'll get 5k xp whenever i play events and i use somebody from the nl west okay so the collection stuff we already went over the week one exchanges and week two exchanges i stay away from these personally because i don't like lighting stuff uh, stubs on fire which is what that is exchanges you don't get stuff back so don't forget that collections it's just a no sell and then you can still keep the item exchange you lose it forever it's gone lit it on fire you never wanted it you'll never have it again so don't do that there's a new showdown which i haven't done yet oops i need to there's a face of the franchise west and a uh i'm sorry future of the franchise west and future of the franchise central conquest again this is a great spot to not only get 30k a piece but also gameplay xp but also doing the flashbacks for legends and flashback missions in your lineup while playing conquest so make sure you're doing that and then the showdown i mean that's another 15k shit i mean if i do that i'm, I'm looking pretty I I'm not a mathematician, but it looks like I'll be at, I don't know, 558,000 if I get that XP right there, right? Am I doing that math right? I have no idea. Getting our packs from this, and then honestly, I haven't even grinded the events as much as I should. This event ends on the 16th, so I'll probably be grinding it here pretty quickly because I need, what is that, 13 more wins to get these five bundles. I want them, and I want the 25 XP or 25K XP uh, uh, boosts, if you will, from getting these. So I want that there. Plus, you never know. If I go eight and one, then I get a free diamond. We can always sell 
sell that but we're gonna be grinding that as well and then the new br program came out too another thing that you could be grinding here you don't have to you see in this one i'm four and one you do not have to be very very good at this to do this br program at all i'm at 20 points right now and i've barely played make sure you're taking these cards here doing these missions like i've already done the uh bronze acuna one so next time i draft i'll be taking bronze randy johnson or something you know making sure i knock these out i've already done the trout so i'll take teoscar hernandez you know gold i've done none of these so maybe i'll actually do one of these I don't know but make sure you're doing that because once we get in the v in the br program down to here in this flawless rewind damn i was really hoping joe morgan was in that pack he's not but that's gonna be free stubs because like uh, i don't know if i really entirely care about a lot of these these prices will be going down on these cards too so i might just take something to sell might just take a geometry to sell. i don't really know what i'm gonna do there but this this program in general if i get here while george springer's still expensive i'll get him and sell him to then get the cheaper joe morgan because joe morgan's the last card i need to get babe ruth try to piece this together in a way that you can complete numerous like we're trying to do the br program to get the stubs and packs sure all that fun stuff but i also want to get babe ruth and complete the takashi series so we're gonna be trying to do that and so with all that we've been playing so far i've amassed 48 show packs some headliners face of the franchise nl west i have all these i don't care bam give me that why not i have these two exciting packs here if i could pull rare rounds let it be here and here because the rare round here let me just show before let me show you where i'm at in this collection and why i need the rare round I have done quite a bit for this George Brett card. I am 14 out of 15 vouchers. You saw me get Mauer in the last one. I am so close. I need Joe Morgan to get Babe Ruth. Bam, it's done. And I get Babe Ruth, which like great swing. I'm pretty excited. I'm skipping the future stars. And of course I could sell some of these guys. I've been kind of using them, uh, you know, so I don't know if I want to sell them yet. They're pretty cheap anyway, 16K. It's not like I'm breaking the bank. The big issue for me has been awards cards. There's simply, there's just not really any. Now I could play a ton of ranked on hall of fame and legend to try to get the inning total to get reggie jackson i don't know if i want to hate myself that bad brandon crawford and albert pujols kind of i mean well i guess i could just buy reggie i don't know i need two more of these because i haven't locked in uh robbie ray they just simply aren't releasing any damn uh, uh awards cards if i could in the pack get a rare round and get this brandon duvall i mean brandon crawford that would be huge because that's that's 90k that i could just lock in right there and then i could sell something else with the stubs i have get pujols lock it in get joe morgan bam i'm done with george Brett. Hugely phenomenal. So I need to do that. And then I also, I do have, I finished the face the franchise thing. You only need 27 of these. Um, I think I have some dupes. I do. I have two Devin Williams for some reason. Is that who I just took? Their quick sell value, I think, is at uh nine. No, it's at eight thousand, right? So if I do it at nine two nine nine, I after tax, I'll still have over quick sell. So we'll take that. I'll sell the Devin Williams. Didn't I have another Cody Bellinger? Maybe. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then what are what are is is this still in the value one oh eight? One hundred ninety seven stubs over quick sell. I mean, whatever. We'll take it. So I'm also the reason I've kept. So I have every card except for Chapman, which means I'm only one away from having thirty out of thirty. The reason I haven't sold like Ben Attendee, for instance, and Corey Seager because I could. Totally do that i don't need to collect them is there will be another big boy collection george brett is tier one there will be tier two up in this bitch and you will probably need 30 face the franchise cards so i don't know if i really i don't know i mean at the same point it's not like they're gonna run up in pro i don't know i might sell i don't know right now i'm not though i'm gonna keep them for the next one if i could pack brandon crawford and then purchase reggie or earn reggie or whatever that would be huge so i kind of need some pack luck here because if i mean like if i get the pack luck in this hell i could have that card this video which would be sick that'd be dope anyway we're gonna open the standard packs first as always if you like pack videos be sure to leave a thumbs up on the video that's how i know you enjoy it i don't know who the expensive new bronze and commons they've added are because i haven't paid attention admittedly so yeah screw it get this jersey out of here i don't give a damn quick sell that bitch i, I don't know what they're going i don't know I, I have no idea hey guys we got a diamond smile the fucking pirates jersey so anyway i don't know what they are so if i pull any of the, the of the like rare commons and bronzes make sure you let me know in the comments so you can be like hey man you pulled whoever and they go for 300 for a common that would be neato maybe i find another who was the last dude i sold the pel the the dude from the dodgers i think i butchered his name every time i talked about him julio Tehran, long, long live our king i think he's pitching an independent ball right now i don't even think he's in i don't know maybe not chris paddock tough 41 packs give me something baby give me no nothing i'll be damned brother give me a diamond you know what would be honestly super sick like super awesome let me pull trout i know that's saying a lot but like it, when you think about my pack luck have we pulled some diamonds sure have we pulled expensive diamonds 
No. I think the most expensive diamond we pulled was Gary Sheffield. He was 60K when I pulled him. But like after that, really nothing's been in that 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 price bracket at all in these in these packs. You know what I mean? Like I haven't pulled a I didn't pull I had to buy a Cunha, had to buy the Grom, had to buy uh a trout all or I had to well, I didn't buy trout. I earned trout via BR. It's not like I've necessarily gotten lucky on packs at all. There's not been sweet savory fire. I'm pulling bitches like mad bum out here. You know what I mean? They're bronze. Who gives a damn? I I pulled someone's jock strap. Like, am I lucky? I don't think I am. So when people get mad and they're like, wow, Dimu, I wish I had your pack luck. You pulled a diamond. Yeah, I pulled damn Shane McClanahan and his 3,000 stub ass. Are we really jealous of the 3,000 stubs? I don't understand. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I don't understand it. I don't know. Let's try an auto flip that didn't work all right well shit sometimes in the comments you guys are like yo if you if you auto flip it works out better and i think you're full of shit because i don't i, I don't think it is it's like i just auto flipped and i didn't get anything so where is it by the way i think that that compression sleeve right there i just got i think it actually sells for like a thousand i think i don't know i feel like i remember seeing it so i'll have to look at that after but john nagowski and carter K i'm not pulling anything now again granted i will 110 percent 100 if i'm not going to get anything nice out of these packs i will totally take the rare rounds out of the always intense packs because i very much want that brandon crawford so i don't have to buy him drew waters looks so happy to be here man just look at that big old cheesy ass smile right there and look at the damn mustache look at the lip caterpillar on that guy i like it i really want the, uh, the brandon crawford so that i don't have to buy him but i also want glamping i don't know and then i would take whoever in the in the second i don't even know who the hell the rare rare rounds i think are simian castianos i'll take castianos I'm down. None of these are worth shit. I got a 500 stub uh, gold card or silver card. I think it was Michaelis who almost had a yo. I'm, I'm tired of taking Ryu in my daily fantasy sports because he fucking is not doing good for me. OK, and I'm upset. It's making me mad. Every time I believe in Ryu, he doesn't believe in me. I'm upset. I love that glove, man. I ain't going to lie. I'm not a Dodgers fan. I don't necessarily even give a shit about like your uni. Oh, that's Royals. I feel like all the Dodgers players have been. I, I like that glove right there. I like the light blue. I don't know. I like it. I'm with it. Give me something. Bam. Nothing. Yo, sick. I got Cody Thomas, guys. Are we are we hyped? Are we hyped? A gold. We got Hernandez. Okay. That'll make us some stubs. And again, after I open up a lot of packs, usually I just go through and I start selling whatever's dupes. I, I don't I admittedly I haven't really touched a ton of the bronzes unless like I feel like I have a lot of them or I've noticed that for some reason they're going up. It's usually I'm just looking at the silvers, the gold, stuff like that to, to sell and clean. But good lord. Ten shell packs left. I mean, you gotta you gotta think we're gonna get something, right? <sighs> Oh my God, it's purple. I'm so sad. I'm going to cry. I'm going to puke. It's going to be, it's going to be, uh, who the hell? Wait, uh, wait, who is it? Juan Soto? Is that? Yeah. Oh my God. He's an 85 now. When the hell did that happen? They massacred my boy. Oh my God. 85. He doesn't have any lineup protection. Stop, stop ruining him for his down season. Let Juan Soto be free. 3000 stubs. I, like, are you jealous of my 3000 stubs? I don't know. I don't really think it should be. Maybe I'm stupid. One diamond pull though. We'll take it. We'll take it. Juan Soto. I remember when people used to yell at me and be like, why isn't Juan Soto a higher rated card, a higher rated than, than Acuna? And I was like, what the fuck are we talking about? Wild times, man, wild times. I'm tired of the golds being the damn jerseys, by the way. I don't give a shit about those. Give me the gold players. I just saw Michael Brantley there. He was in a jersey break that I was in. I didn't take his jersey though. I'm sorry, Astros fans. I, I didn't. You'll, I, when the jersey, when the two jerseys that I got come i will show you who i got even though i already told you i got Contreras and one but whatever whatever bam um shit okay well nothing i mean we got one diamond out of the 40 something packs that is tough rewind pack here these honestly have been like i i bitch about them because they kill the value of stuff but with how frequently you get them they've been a little bit clutch because like this is a free like fourteen thousand stub uh hoffman i think is still the most expensive and probably the one people are buying the most since he's part of the kakashi stuff so i'm gonna take him and we'll do that. All right. Headliner set 17 could be. What are the odds on these? One in 10? Shit. I feel like that's a lie because I feel like I don't pull shit out of these. We could get Willie Mays, though. I'll take it. I think he's only 15K, but I'll take it. Or I'll take I'll take fucking Nikki Lopez and Jose. All right. Well, and Adam Stip. Well, all right. Heck yeah, dude. Set 19 could be Robbie Ray. I don't need you, buddy. I already have you, but I'll take something. I'll take something. Oh, yes, daddy. Show me. It's purple. Fuck me. It's not even Robbie Ray. I'm up. It's going to be Taylor Rogers. Ah! Why are you always a 3K quick sell? Yo, he was traded, by the way, for Chris Paddock. Pretty nutty. I hate it here. Anyway, set 20 could be Mike Schmidt. I think I, I don't ever personally care about Mike Schmidt cards. That's just me. I don't know. And I'm not going to get him. So I guess it's a good thing I don't necessarily care. But also, I'm going to cry. <sighs> 
All right, always a tits pack. The ones that it could be that I, I would take, I would honestly, the shitty thing is I really want Brandon Crawford because I want to put him only for the awards thing, but I want to use Glavin in the worst way. And I want Mookie because I love Mookie cards. This is a very upsetting thing for me because I'm going to get stuck with this shit down here. But if I didn't, this would be hard. You know, always intense. Show me a rare round. Oh, fuck. Well, now I kind of wish I got the fucking base round because I don't know who the hell to take. You got to take Brandon Crawford, right? That's what we need for George Brett, right? That's what, right? You got to, um, but Glavin is just a cutie with a booty over there. And then Mookie Betts. I love you. Why couldn't it be awards Mookie? And then some all-star flashback. I don't, because I don't give a shit about Brandon Crawford. I'm sorry, Giants fans. I don't want to use him. I don't really care. I'm going to end up using him probably because he's going to be locked in. But, ah, uh, Lee, this is tough. I'm taking Brandon Crawford. I don't know. Did I make the right decision in the in the comments? Let me know. I'll take another rare round here, please. Dude, okay. I kind of want to try Castiano. Dude, okay. Okay, okay, okay. You guys, if you've been watching me for a while, you know that I'm a big bitch for card art, even though it's virtual card art. And I think this little this little stamp thing they're doing for these flashback finests is amazing. I think the card art looks sick. I don't know. Maybe you disagree with me, but I love it in all my life. But I'm not going to take you. I wouldn't. Oh, what are these guys? 70K, 74, 68. All right, let me get, I, let me, let me get another rare round. I know I'm being greedy. I already got Brandon Crawford. Come on shit on my dick and call me sally well the only card i don't have is paul goldschmidt which i mean i hate that they released this card because paul goldschmidt should have had player of the month last month yeah devers is great yes he was good i like devers absolutely paul goldschmidt was literally a god last month come on now we can all look at it we can look at it reasonably okay i don't know who to fucking take i feel like i should take the most expensive though so paul goldschmidt's only selling out 13k what are you actually selling for 19 15 14 18 oh my god 19 6 i guess i'm gonna take jorge blanco and sell him i'm good on all-star crap paul goldschmidt's gonna get hoed again all right i don't know we take value in this house okay and so now i'm gonna get 20,000 stubs by selling jorge honestly i could sell two of you i don't think i locked it oh never mind i locked one of you in never mind I'm stupid. One, nine, 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 two, right? Yes. Is that numbers? Yes. Let's do it. So we'll have some subs there. Who else? Is I got Juan Soto. All right. I guess we just, I guess, I guess we won't do that. Soto. And then I got Rogers, right? You got to think Soto is going to be quick sell, right? I don't know. Is 3K the quick, quick sell for one? 3,000 subs untaxed. Or I could sell you for 4339. And I get 900 more. Yeah, I think we'll do that. We'll sell so. Okay. So we'll sell Soto. We'll try to sell this Rod. Is it Rogers or Rogers? It is not Rod. It's Rogers. This can't be this the, under quick sell right i'll take the 100 subs i got it okay cool so we'll get subs there so then honestly i mean dude once i get a once i get uh the the flawless pack man i should be i should be able to get brett within like the next video which is wild because like i i haven't even been playing as much it feels that's nutty i don't know that's where we're standing we got some sell stuff out there i could honestly even sell some of the future stars now that i think about it out loud if i sold some of the future stars i have that i don't really care about since i'm not locking those in and i got let's say i'll say i sold three of them for 15k i'd be sitting at about 100k after the other shit i just sold and then i could buy reggie for 90 earn joe morgan bam i get george right am i mathing correct here i don't know let me look at this hold on with the power of editing this will be much quicker yeah i'd only need one more award card and then which reggie jackson's going for 78k buy, uh, or buy now well hold the phone so if i sell you i get 13k and then i could sell hendrick oh you're only 11k though i don't know what the quick sell values on these dudes are either i could sell this damn brady card because i won't need i think honestly he might be in my event lineup which sucks because i don't really yeah he is okay okay so hold on hold on a minute power of editing this will go quicker hold on okay Okay, so quick sell on these cards is worth 10k. I could sell Beatty back 14198. Could sell him. I could sell Hendrick back at 1139. Is that worth? Is this 11398? That's 250 stubs over quick sell. In this instance, because I'm gonna see if I can be quick on something, I'm just gonna quick sell him for 10k on tax. So I did that, and I'm sitting at 80,000 stubs now. I have other stuff for sale still. I think, right? Let me look. 
power of editing. Yeah, so I still have quite a, I have Beatty, Shea, Juan Soto, Jorge Polanco, Cody Bellin, all those dudes still for sale, by the way. Also, can you tell I'm trying to finish the stadiums out? I figured why not while I'm here. Beatty just sold. Okay, so then hold the, hold the phone now. Reggie, 78. How much is Pujols? Cause like Pujols, I like more. Okay, a little out of my price range. So not gonna do that. We're gonna go Reggie and then I'm gonna put a buy order in for seven nine one zero zero and now we wait right damn i got excited it said jorge polanco just sold i thought maybe it was reggie my heart it swelled with happiness i'm at forty five thousand stuff i could buy him outright but we don't want to just waste stubs right i don't know maybe next time maybe in the next video i'll have reggie but if i get reggie we're done with the awards and then i'm gonna play br on stream probably right now trying to get joe morgan so i get babe ruth and then if i get babe ruth and then that buy order goes through i mean we're looking at we're looking at some cute ass bay or not babe ruth george Brown. Right. No money spent. Now, and again, I've said this before. I can't stress it enough. If you're not as far as me, I do not want my videos to ever make you feel bad. Maybe you don't play the game as much as I do. Maybe you have, you know, your nine to five job. You got your wife, you got your kids, you got your family. You got to go to school. I don't know. Whatever it is you have, you all have different lives. I totally understand. So I don't want you to feel discouraged because I did something in the game, right? There's no race. There's no right or wrong way to do no money spent. I mean, there's aggressively a wrong way. If you buy stubs, then I mean, you're pretty pretty fucking wrong but if you're not buying those then you're fucking good you know so don't feel discouraged by this at all i i, I can't stress that enough i you can 100 do it you i believe in you you can 100 do it and if you're not if you're feeling oh i'm not very good at the game i can't do this whatever you can get better i promise i can't stress that enough but that's where we're at if you enjoyed this video and you're excited for the very very imminent george brett leave a like on the video subscribe to the channel if you're new come hang out on twitch i love you you're beautiful and i hope you have a fantastic day peace